All right, so when it comes to precision rifles, there's almost no part of a precision rifle that can't be customized to the shooter, whether it's the muzzle brake at the business end or the butt plate at the back end. So as you guys may have known, I did a video a while back on comparing three of the most prevalent DMR style stocks that you guys see. Um, the the Mission First Tactical Inbus Utility, the Luth AR here, and then the uh, Magpul PRS. And I said in that video out of all three of those that the Luth AR was my favorite of those three. Um, and I laid forth my reasons why that is. So Luth AR, on top of all the things that I talk about in that video, has is the only one that I am aware of, and this is I think this goes for all carbine or fixed precision stocks that can be fitted to a buffer tube um, I think they are the only one that makes it adjust completely adjustable down to the butt plate so I have recently got the three axis butt plate here on my Luthay R MBA one this is the stock that I have ran for the longest time now on my seven SOM you guys know that this is one of my absolute favorite rifles um, it's probably right up there with my most accurate rifles um, and it's the one that I've been doing a lot of extreme long-range shooting with recently I just posted a video the other day taking this thing out to 2480 yards um, and this thing has actually just putting this three axis butt plate on here has made a big difference in the in my ability to be consistent even at those distances and you may wonder how that is so a three axis and this doesn't just go for the Luth AR three axis butt plate this goes for pretty much any butt plate on a rifle on any precision rifle that is completely tunable to your body so with the with a tunable butt plate um, it allows you to tune the rifle to your body. You got to figure the part of the rifle that connects to your body is the butt plate. So everybody is built completely different. Not every, not one person is built the same as the next. And because of that, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have the exact same perfectly vertical butt plate on the end of every on the end of every rifle. So because when I, the, the way that I typically do my precision shooting, as you guys probably know, is from the prone. Um, and this thing also has a feature that we'll talk about here in a minute that allows you to be much more consistent and sturdy from even shooting from a bench. But as you guys know, the way that I typically do most of my precision shooting is in the prone. And because I do everything in the prone, when I lay down prone and I get behind the rifle, the part of my shoulder between my shoulder and my collarbone here is not a perfectly vertical line it actually has some somewhat of a cant to it and being able to fit the butt plate to that part of my shoulder where I am pulling the rifle into the part of my body that the rifle actually makes contact with um, by being able to customize that to fit that um, allows me to be to build my position faster and be more consistent in my shots overall. So you may wonder how is that possible? So first off, to build your position. If you are building a position, one of the biggest parts of building your position, as we've talked about in the fundamentals video and many other videos, is making sure that your you have your level, complete your bubble level on your rifle completely flat before you break that shot every time. So if you have a butt plate that is not matched up to your shoulder, and you pull that into your shoulder if the butt plate wants to turn because you don't have that you don't have it in that crook of your shoulder and when you pull it tight sometimes that will cause the rifle to cant on its own well if you've taken the time to set your cant and make sure that everything is level and then you go to the extra step of pulling it tight to your shoulder and it cants again you have to go through the whole step of re resituating everything and making sure that your position is solid and level well if you have it fit to your shoulder when you pull the rifle tight to your shoulder it's going to stick where it is and it's not going to move it's going to stay in that same cant the entire time that that rifle is locked to your shoulder so that is the way that the three axis butt plate, three axis butt plate by Luth AR or any fully adjustable butt plate helps in the speed of building your position that's something that PRS shooters um, that if you are a PRS shooter or you plan to shoot PRS matches um, that's something you guys may want to look at as being able to every second every tenth of a second counts in PRS so being able to build that position faster 
is going to go a long way to reducing those times. Um, and then shot consistency. As we all know, as we've talked about before, one of the biggest keys to being accurate and precise and consistent with a rifle or being accurate and precise with a rifle is being consistent. So it doesn't matter if you have the worst recoil management and you let the rifle every time you break the shot recoil two inches up and to the left every single time you break the shot. As long as that rifle does that exact same thing every single time and your ammo is consistent, your rifle is capable of shooting consistently, then that bullet is going to go to the exact same spot every time. But because we are humans, because we don't always do everything consistently, any help that we can get in making, making it so that our rifle is cons acts consistently with our body is a big help. So when I am behind my rifle, and I lock this into my shoulder, if I have just the perfectly vertical butt plate on here and I lock the rifle into my shoulder and it recoils and I don't have it perfectly in that notch of my shoulder, when it recoils, instead of recoiling straight forward and back, which is the way that you get, which is the way that it is possible to be cons more consistent than any other way. What, what I always try to do is when I get, when I have my rifle recoil, I try to get the rifle to recoil completely on a, on a completely horizontal plane. So straight back and forth. And if I have the rifle, if I have a straight butt plate and I have the rifle pulled to my shoulder and that rifle recoils and I don't have it perfectly in that notch of my shoulder, sometimes it will cause the rifle to recoil and turn to the side. That is going to throw off the consistency of your shot to shot. So by being able to pull it tight to your shoulder and fit in that notch right from the get-go when you break that shot, there is no place for that rifle to go. There's nowhere for it to move side to side and throw off the consistency of your shot. So it is going to recoil more consistently every single time straight back and forth in that pocket of your shoulder because you have fit the butt plate to your shoulder. And sometimes it doesn't take a whole lot. As you guys can see, um, the way I have mine set up, it is not a whole lot of cant that I have had to put into this butt plate to make it fit perfectly in my shoulder. Now, if you are a bench shooter and you are trying to, you're looking for an adjustable butt plate, this is another part of this Luth AR uh, three axis butt plate that is a big help for even bench shooters or if you're shooting offhand. So when you shoot from a bench, unlike when I'm laying down prone, when I lay down prone, I'm typically up here on this part of my shoulder which is actually much more of an angled part of my shoulder. So when I get behind the rifle and I'm laying down flat, this is where the rifle is going to be. So actually, a lot of times it helps to have the butt plate higher when you shoot from the prone. When you shoot from a bench, a lot of times you don't. the top of the butt plate doesn't even make contact with your shoulder. And because that butt plate is not making full contact with your shoulder, you're losing out on the stability of that rifle. The more of that rifle you can get to make contact with your shoulder, the more consistent and the more sturdy you will be. So what they have done with this Luth AR three axis butt plate here is they've allowed it to also, not only does it turn from left to right and caddy corner, it will also, you can also lower the butt plate so that you can lower it down about, about an inch and a half. So what that does is that allows you to have the solid part where you're putting it to your shoulder. If you're typically shooting from a bench, you lower that down that inch and a half and cant it to your particular shoulder pocket. You are going to be much more sturdy than if you're missing this whole inch and a half up top that is not making contact. So that is another part of the three axis butt plate here that I was really impressed with. There's one thing out of, out of this whole thing that I was really hoping that the three axis butt, butt plate did that it doesn't do. And I was actually, because like I said, I typically shoot prone and because a lot of times when you're in the prone, you are actually having to get your shoulder down a little further just to make perfect, con or complete contact. I was hoping that the butt plate, pl butt plate would also raise up 
that inch or inch and a half, which it does not do. It only goes downwards. The way they have this built, it will only go in one direction, and that is down, which, like I said, helps for if you are shooting offhand. If you're shooting offhand, that is another place where you don't you typically have the top of the butt plate making contact with your shoulder. So because the top of the butt plate isn't making contact with your shoulder when you're shooting offhand, it helps to have that butt plate lowered definitely makes it more stable and more capable of being sturdy when shooting offhand or from a bench. So that is the Luthayer three-axis butt plate. I have been really impressed with it. Both of the my most recent ELR shots, the 4,000 or the 2,412 yard shot and the 2,480 yard shot that I just posted the other day, both of those were done since I have put the Luthayer three-axis butt plate on the 7 Psalm here and I have been able to tell a big difference in my ability to keep the rifle from doing any sort of twist or movement other than perfectly vertically or perfectly horizontally in my recoil. So I hope this was helpful. I hope if you guys are building a precision rifle or looking at a different stock, um, you will think about an adjustable butt plate because it is one of those things on a precision rifle that while not completely necessary, it does have a purpose, and that purpose goes a long way to your consistency at distance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.